Hello everyone. Today we are going to complete uh, our previous lesson about plant life cycle in chapter two, lesson one, pages 74 and 75. Let's revise here the plant life cycle. This is a life cycle of flowering plant. First, we said the seeds should be planted in the soil, then they germinate, they germinate and grow into seedling. Then the seedling grows into adult plant. The adult plant grows flowers, then the flowers uh, reproduce by re uh, pollination. Then after that, they make the seeds and then the fruits grow around the seeds. So what is a plant's life cycle? First, the seed germinates, then grows into seedling, then grows into adult, and then an adult reproduces. This is plant's life cycle, is how a plant germinates, grows, and reproduces. After time, the adult plants die. So an adult plant could die, as you see in this picture. Here, these are dead plants. And after time, these dead plants will decompose, decompose. As you see in this picture, decompose, it means break down. So first, the plants die, then the, plant, the dead plants decompose. It means they break down. After that, you can see here uh, small pieces of dead plants in the soil. So these decomposed plants become part of the soil and they add nutrients to the soil. So first the plants die, then decompose, and then uh, these decomposed plants add nutrients to the soil. There are different kinds of plants. Uh, what parts of the plant reproduces? As we said, different kinds of plants reproduces with different structures. We have uh, a kind of plant. They have flowers. They make seeds inside they, their flowers. Other plants have cones and they make the seeds inside the cones. The ones that have flowers, we call them flowering plants, the ones that have cones, we call them conivers plants. So here we have in this picture two kinds of plants, the flowering plants and the conivers. Let's talk first about the flowering plants. Here we have different kinds of plants. They have flowers. Most plants are flowering plants. So the flowering plants are more than the conifers plants. They use their flowers to reproduce. And they, the flowers make seeds through which process? Yes, the pollination. An example of a flowering plant like that cherry tree. Now let's talk about the conifers. As we said, the flowering plants, they have male flowers and female flowers. Also the conifers plants have female cones and the male cones. The female cone makes the egg and the male cone makes the pollen. And after that, the pollen moves from the male cone to the female cone. Uh, we call this process pollination. And then they make the seeds inside the female cone, just as the flowering plants. But instead of flowers, there is here cones. And the same life cycle, the seed is planted in the soil then it germinates, it grows into seedling, and then the seedling grows into adult plant, 
the adult plant has male and female cones. So let's talk about conifers plants. The conifers have similar life cycles to the flowering plants. The only the one difference here in the conifers, there are cones. In the flowering plants, there are flowers. So because they are the same, so here they use their cones to reproduce. A cone or cones are plant structures that make seeds as the flowers. And then also they uh, make their seeds through the pollination. Some examples like the pine trees, spruce trees, and hemlock trees. Thank you for your listening.